वेलकम टू येट अनादर फन स्टोरी टाइम फ्रॉम अदिति मैम हियर एट येलो क्लास सो चिल्ड्रन लीव व्हाट एवर एल्स यू आर डूइंग हॉप अलोंग द स्टोरी ट्रेन द ट्रेन इज अबाउट टू लीव द स्टेशन एंड इट्स गोइंग टू स्टॉप एट योर हाउस इन योर वेरी रूम वेयर यू आर राइट नाउ सो for all those who are already aboard the train very good and all the others we are waiting so come on bring all your family members and friends ask everybody to get together because story time is family time and the story that i have for you today has an amazing sense of what family is all about so before i begin leave everything else sit straight wear your smiles very good and you have to join me in today's session you know the rules are there are no rules at all all you have to do is sit back relax enjoy the session listen to the song then you will guess what the story is about you will type out the answers whatever ask i ask you will be typed out on your chats box right on your screen and without further ado let's just keep waiting for your friends and other family members very good so get your dadu dadi nanu nani mummy papa bhaiya didi everybody because it's family story time and what better way to have fun than to sit together bond and listen to a story all of us have grown up listening to stories from dadi from nani from mummy from didi from bhaiya and now this is the same experience that we at yellow class are trying to bring to you in these times so if you want to have more fun and more fun and super fun all you got to do is 1 2 3 all eyes on me and once i have all of you settled out sit down in a place leaving everything else finish whatever you have done open your ears wear your thinking hats listen 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 and participate cause kids all the kids the chota kids the bada kids the parents who have a heart of a kid the dadu dadi the grandparents who are also a child within all you need to do is interact with me in this special story time because once you interact i know that you are all there listening to me and having a good time so kids let me just call out for everyone to just join in as we begin this roller coaster ride of a fun story time and today i have a few guests on the story now you must be wondering who are these guests well 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 for that you have to wait and listen on to this song with me as i play the song you have to just get up and dance just feel free let your body loose you can also send us your pictures of how you are interacting with the story time that's here right for you we always like to listen from you right so without much ado let's begin i'm sharing the song and let's hope you all have a good time listen on
Give me a moment. The song is coming your way right now. Don't forget to dance. <laughs> Drop it and fetch it and drop it again. Oh, I'm not a stick. Why can't you see? I'm stick man, I'm stick man, I'm stick man, that's me. And I want to go home to the family tree. And notice says, dogs must be kept on the lead. At last the game's over and Stickman is free. He sets off for home with a hop and a twirl. But Stickman, oh Stickman, beware of the girl. A stick cries the girl with a smile on her face. The right kind of poo stick for winning the race. Has everyone got one? Get ready to throw. It's one, two, three, into the river they go. Oh, I'm not a poo stick, why can't they see? I'm stick man, I'm stick man, I'm stick man, that's me. And I'm heading away from the family tree. Oh, stick man is floating, he floats on and on. Oh, stick man, oh, stick man, beware of the swan. A stick says the swan, this twig is the best. It's the right kind of twig to weave into my nest. Oh, I'm not a twig. Oh, why can't they see? I'm stick man, I'm stick man. I'm stick man, that's me. And I long to be back in the family tree. The nest is deserted and stick man is free. He drifts down the river and out to the sea. He tosses and turns to the frolicking foam. It washes him up on a beach far from home. Oh, here comes a dad with a spade in his hand. Oh, stick man, oh, stick man, beware of the sand. A mast yells the dad, an excellent mast. Hooray, there's a flag on our castle at last. Oh, I'm not a mass, or a silly old flag, or a sword for a knight, or a hook for a bag. Oh, I'm not a pen, and I'm not a bow. Oh, I'm not a bat, or a boomerang, no. I'm... Stick man, oh stick man, beware of the snow. lies down for a dough. He can't hear the bells or the sweet singing choir or the voices saying here's a good stick for the fire. Stick man is lying asleep in the grate. Can anyone wake him before it's too late? Son 
heavenly wings What's that noise from above? It starts as a chuckle Then turns to a shout I'm stuck Ho, 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 ho I'm stuck I'll help you Get me out A stuck man? A stuck man, a stuck man Now who could that be? Don't you worry, cries stick man I'll soon set you free A scratch and a scrape And a flurry of soot A wiggle, a jiggle And out pokes a foot A shove and a nudge And a hop and a jump And Santa falls into The room with a thump Oh stick man, oh stick man You excellent friend Thanks, thanks a million, thanks without end. Yeah. And Stickman helps Santa deliver the toys oh, to oh, fast oh. asleep girls and fast asleep boys. And faster and faster they fly through the snow. But Santa says, only one chimney to go. Stick ladies lonely. The children are sad It won't feel like Christmas Without their stick man They toss and they turn In the family bed But what is that clattering sound overhead? Someone is tumbling into the house Oh, is it a bird? Or a bat? Or a mouse? Or could it be Yes, could it possibly be? I'm a stick man, I'm a stick man, I'm a stick man, that's me. And I'm sticking right here in the family tree. Yes, I'm sticking right here in the family tree. Whoa, ho, ho. Well, well, well. Wasn't that something of a song? And as I promised, you had two wonderful, wonderful guests right along. So, who do you think the story is about today? Well, 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 my dear kids, quickly take the chat option right as you have here with you and tell me. Who do you think the song was about? What do you think the story is going to be about? Mm -hmm. It's good to see your answers coming right up. Very well done. Excellent. And your guests today from the story are actually waiting to interact with you. So, once you shoot me your answers on the chat option box on your screen devices, I am going to get you to read them. Excellent. It's good to see your answers. It shows that you are listening attentively. And what a pleasure to interact with each one of you right through this. Lovely. Right. Absolutely right. Brilliant. It is the story, the famous, famous story of the stick man. Yay! Brilliant. Kudos and cheers for all those who've guessed it. And hey, hey, don't worry. If you haven't, nothing to worry. You are there with me for the story that I'm going to share with you. It's a special, special, lovely, very nice and amazing story. So... If you are all ready, show me a thumbs up. If my audio is clear and my video is clear, show me a super yes. And let's begin. I'm going to share the story. So give me a moment. Well, I'm sure you can all see it. I'll give you a better view, however. There you go. Now, today's story is very, 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 very special because it's a story by the creator of the Gruffalo. Yes. And who was it written by? 
of course none other than julia donaldson and the illustrations are by axel scheffler this is another amazing story for you and for me there is something that you see in the picture and why is the stick running by it's snowy lots of lovely snow he looks certainly happy but can we catch him well to find out answers about this and much much more let's roll on and listen on to the read aloud story session of the stick man right now oh what a beautiful sight the stick man who do you think is the stick man there can you spot him can you identify him from there Aha uh -huh, looks good to me that's right the stick man is living right there with his family oh in the family tree it's a beautiful sight and the wifey lady love is also there look at those three children of the stick man the stick man who is made out of stick and he has his three children who are just running by chasing a butterfly and one of them is just lying like this oh my god and look at the birds chirping by ho 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 ho, ho. hello dear children good to see all of you here oh what fun it is that i can introduce you to my stick lady love that's my wifey wifey say hello to everyone hello children hello everybody i am the wife of mr stickman and these are our little children 1 2 and 3 and we like to live like a happy family just like all of you now you have three children as you can see and it's a bright beautiful day and the birds are chirping by then one day our stick man wakes up early it's a bright sunny day and he wants to go for a jog a jog is so good it's such a good exercise well in the pandemic we can't really do anything we can't go to the park but we can always have do it inside our homes as well you can do a stand up jog so he wakes up early and goes for a jog stick man oh stick man beware of the dog woo 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 and a dog follows him and he runs and he runs as fast as he can the dog says oh stick <laughs> and excellent stick woo 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 and he catches a stick man oh no the right kind of stick what well, my favorite trick as you know dogs love to play tricks through balls and sticks so he fetches and he drops it he opens his mouth and drops it and he fetches again and he drops it and then i will drop it and fetch it again Oh boy what a fun time Oh 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 the stick man ran and said I am not a stick why can't you see I am a stick man I am a stick man I am a stick man that's all me and I want to go home to my family tree but he 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 the dog so the stick man so high up into the park where everybody else was reading and somebody was trying to roller skate and the pigeons were eating some crumbs and people were enjoying in the park that the stick went flying by oh boy and just then there was a sign a notice where the guard said dogs must be kept on the lead so as you can see 
the boy ties his dog with a lead so that he can't run away like that. And at last, the game's over, and the sick man is happy because the dog is free, has left the sick man free. And the sick man runs, 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 and he runs, runs, runs for its life. And he sets off, he wants to go home with a hop and a twirl. Stick man, oh stick man, beware of the girl, she will catch you. A stick, cries the girl with a smile on her face. The right kind of food stick for winning the race. Now all these kids are playing race and they wanted a stick for winning the race. As they run around. Has everyone got one stick? Aha, uh -huh, yes, yes. Get ready to throw the stick. It's one, two, three. Into the river they go. And the stick man goes into plop, plop, plop. Into the river. Where beautiful ducks and the ducklings are crossing on the stream. And the cat, meow, is watching. And the bird, tweet, tweet also watching all the fun happening by. Just then, the stick man is swimming. Oh, oh, I am not a poor stick. Why can't they see? I am a stick man. I am a stick man. I am a stick man. That's me. And I am heading away from the family tree. I'm going to go home. Please let me go home. Stick man just floating by in the river and he floats on and on and on and on stick man oh stick man beware of the swan now as you can see there are swans around a twig says the swan and a twig is best it's the right kind of twig to weave my nest so as you can see kids the swan is making and weaving her nest with the things around. She puts the twig into her nest and builds a nice nest for her children. But hey, 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 I am not a twig. Why can't they see? I am the stick man. I am the stick man. I am the stick man. That's me. And I long to be back in the family tree. As soon as the stick man is off from the nest, which is left alone, the stick man is free and starts running and swimming by on the water. He drifts down the river and sails out to sea. Oh, finally, he tosses and turns till the frolicking foam washes him up on a beach far, far away from home. Here comes a dad with a spade in his hand. Stick man, oh stick man, beware of the sand. Now with a spade, as you know, you need to make a castle and a spade will help you dig the sand. But there lies poor stick man. Uh oh, there I go again, he thinks. A mast, yells the dad. We can use this stick to make a flat post. And on the castle that the children were building, they formed a flag. Hooray! Hooray! There's a flag on our castle at last. Everybody was happy. But who was unhappy? Tell me, kids. Yes, you've guessed it right. It was the poor little stick man. Stick man, oh stick man. I'm a stick man. I am not a mouse. For a silly old flag, or a sword for a knight, and a hook for a bag. I am a stick man, I want to go home and be free. I am not a pen, you can't draw from me. I am not a bow and arrow that you can use me. I am not a bat that you can play cricket. And I am not a boomerang that goes whoosh and whoosh and whoosh and whoosh. I am, I am stick man or oh stick man.
beware of the snow here comes a boy in a warm woolly scarf an arm for my snowman he thinks at last and he says it with a laugh i am not an arm can nobody see i am stick man i'm stick man that's me will i ever get back to my family tree and poor stick man as he lay there lifeless in the snow not a soul to see only the animals running helter and skelter trying to get some cozy warmth what do you think happened next well let's find out so are you ready to listen further and stay with me till we end stick man is lonely stick man is lost stick man is frozen and covered in frost stick man is weary stick man his eyes starts to close he stretches and he yawns and he lies down for a doze he can't hear the bells uh, or the swing sweet singing choir or the voice saying here's a good stick for the fire and suddenly the stick man is lying asleep in the crate where they have taken all the stick to can anyone wake him wake him up before it's too late he is going to get burnt he doesn't know he's sleeping so sound oh no no he's dreaming of his lady love his wifey dear and his kids and he thinks i'm going to be home soon but do you think he can be home soon he is there lying on the fireplace and you know kids a fire is burnt when you have lots of sticks and stick man happens to be one of them then he suddenly wakes what's that noise up above it starts as a chuckle and then turns to a shout oh ho ho i'm stuck get me out a stuck man a stuck man now who could that be he thinks to himself don't worry stick man i will soon set you free a scratch and a scrape and a flurry of soot a wiggle and a jiggle and out pokes a foot a shove and a nudge a hop and a jump who do you think kids aha it's santa who falls into a room with a thump ho 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 stick man o oh stick man you're an excellent friend thanks thanks a million thanks without end for helping me here and then the stick man help santa deliver the toys as you all know it's going to be christmas soon and in christmas you know the kids wait for santa claus to give them their presents they had wished for they go to the sleepy kids the boys and the girls and in their sock they keep their gifts faster and faster they fly through the snow till santa says only one more chimney to go because as you know a santa claus comes secretly through the chimney of your house because he comes quiet and quiet he flies on his reindeers into the sky and his chariot just goes hopping by he goes from one house to the other and drops the kids with who have asked for their gifts and suddenly there as you can see oh boy oh boy stick lady is lonely the children are sad it's not like christmas without their stick dad they toss and they turn in the family bed they really want But what is that clattering overhead they hear a sound 
someone is stumbling into their house is it a bird tweet, tweet. is it a bat boop, boop. is it a mouse tweet, tweet. or could it be yes possibly yes it is daddy i am the stick man i am the stick man i am the stick man that's me and i'm sticking here right in the family tree and finally as santa promised he united the stick man with his family that's what he wished for and oh ho ho santa bid them goodbye and gave them with a lot of presents and gifts as you can see here and with that my dear kids it brings me to the end of this lovely story so wasn't it a lovely story i'm sure it was and don't you think every story has a learning and a takeaway for all of us so how about you tell me now write on the chat option on your screen device on your devices um the screen that you have what do you think should be the title to this story and what according to you is your learning from this story i'd love to receive your responses you have to write down your answers in the chat option right now as i'm waiting good lovely what lovely titles and what lovely shares excellent as you all know and i always say one story has a different meaning to one person it could mean something else to the other it is not necessary that we all understand the story in the same way so share your titles with me title is the name of the story a name of the story can be based on the characters that you have heard in the story so come on good to see that you are giving me such different titles excellent very nice superb very nice so keep sharing your titles think what do you think was the key theme of the story what do you think was who was the main character in the story were there other characters who helped the main character you can base your title on this you can even base the title or the name of your story on the central theme on the main event that according to you happened in the story that's right so as i can see all of you have a different understanding but a lovely and what a creative way of sharing your ideas with me thank you so much for sharing the titles let's move on now to the different learnings that we have understood the key takeaways from this story what according to you is the moral of the story i know i know not every story needs to have a moral but there is an understanding or something that i liked about the story that you want to share with me so you can tell me what did you learn in one line or in few words your learning from the story or your key take away from the story or your moral of the story or the lesson of the story very good very good very good well done that's nice so children how about we do something fun about the story that you've just heard with me from me what you need to do is draw a part of the story that you thought was the most interesting part it can be anything drawing related to today's story and why don't you share it with us on the yellow class platform 
Facebook page, on the groups that they have, right? We would love to listen from you. What did you like most about the story? What, according to you, was the highlight or the key of the story? Well, if you share so much, we will be really glad to receive all your inputs. And trust me, for a storyteller, nothing best but to hear from the audience, from the viewers and the listeners. So kids, can you promise me that you will draw and click a picture and share it with us about the story, what you like best, the moral, and you can even give a moral and a title on the same page that you draw and click a picture and share it with us. How about that? Isn't that a fun idea? This story will remain with all of us, especially because it had so much to do with family and bonding. Just like you and me love to be in family, we love to be with family. This story highlights the importance of family. So children, as I always say, keep sharing, keep reading. And remember, if you like the story, do share it in your own words to your family and friends. Because if you have something special, if you learn something, the best way is to give and to share. And what better way to enjoy a story than by sharing the story in your own words. So I hope you will do that. We will look forward to your responses. Thank you so much for tuning in to this story time. Until we meet next, remember to read a story to yourself or to family. Read one story a day, every day before you go to sleep. Think about it. Think of the characters. Think of the storyline. Think of the main lesson in the story. And trust me, you will have an amazing, amazing time. Because there's no better friend than or family than your books. Now that you have shared the title to the story, the name of the story, you have shared the moral, the key lesson, the key takeaway, the main learning according to you from the story. How about we do something very interesting? Let me take you back to the story for a moment. Stay on with me. This is how the stick man story in short is. Why don't you just sing along with me? Stick man, oh stick man, he lives in the family tree with his stick lady love and the stick children three. So as you can see, they're having a lovely time. Oh, they're playing with snow. They are snowballing. One of the children, both two of the children actually, are having fun rolling down into a basket. And I can also see two crows looking at what fun they are having and one crow flying top by. So kids, who do you think is that white creature with a broom? Aha, that's right. That is a snowman. Do you know wherever there is snow, you happen to collect a lot of snow and make it into shapes. And voila, that becomes into a beautiful snowman. You can decorate it with a muffler, with eyes and a mouth, and you can have some things attached to the snowman. And this is only possible in areas where you have snow. So next time, after the lockdown, after the pandemic is over, if you happen to visit snow, do not forget to make the snowman that you see here in this picture. And if you happen to see sticks, don't throw them, don't break them, because you never know. That could be a stick man with his family. So make sure you are kind to the sticks that you see on the road, in your garden, in the park, and do not, please don't break them away from their 
family tree. So, children, with that, I only like to say that you have to read and read because books are the best friends we have. And this story has been so special because it's about family for you and for me. There's nobody better than a family as always. And trust me, if you read to them, they will be more than happy. So at night, just take a book, just one book at night, every night before you sleep, read yourself, read to yourself or read to your family. Read to your brother or sisters, to your parents, to your grandparents. <clears throat> but do read a book before you sleep. And trust me, you will have the best sleep ever and the best dreams ever. So, until we meet next time with more stories, with a full pitara, with a full, another new story and full games and full on fun. Let's read a story and come back. Until we meet next, happy reading and happy listening. Thank you and goodbye.